Hello, Linda O'Leary from Horse Problems Australia. Welcome to this week's podcast. Today we bring you Ziggy. He um, is my new project horse. And as you can see here, he is a standard bred. And I'm going to use him today to show you and basically critique him to see where we're at with his training. He's had lunging and running reins for several weeks and he's had some sun riding so he is broken to saddle but he hasn't had official proper dressage training. I've now ridden him for two days and so this is day number three and we're just going to see how he goes and the reasons why he may do things wrong. Now the thing I've noticed over the last couple of days is he loves to shake his head around and so he might work in a frame for a little while and then suddenly he'll do this massive head shake and so we're going to see why this is happening and hopefully be able to come to a conclusion to stop it from happening. Now I've only just got on so we're just going for a walk around both ways, let him have a look at the arena before we start to actually work. Now I do think standard breads tend to display that type of behaviour by throwing their head. But what I want people to realise is, as much as they can make great riding horses, of course all of their career they have had to pull a cart and not push from behind which is what we want from a dressage horse. Now even when selecting one of these guys like I have we still have to look at their conformation because you need to pick one that is able to do the job well otherwise you're making it ten times harder for the horse and for yourself to try and train. If you look at this horse he's naturally uphill he has good hind end conformation so he has a nice big round bottom for what work he's done. Obviously he's going to build up more with more top line and muscle tone. But generally he is not a bad type. And so that already gives him an edge before we start. So now we're going to ask him to pick up a bit of a contact. Now what do you notice here? As soon as I picked up contact he fell to the inside. And again I find these horses are very wobbly horses in that they are very flexible but they also are very unbalanced and fall off the track that you're riding on. So what we need to try and achieve here is to keep him between our leg and our rein. And so inside leg to outside rein becomes rather important because every time we want to make a transition if we are to have an outside connection on our outside rein, which is what enables the outline to stay consistent and the roundness to come, then only is that going to happen if he's not falling in to the inside track. So there you can see he's quite nice. And okay, there he did a little bit of a head shake. I think that's probably to do with my other horses, which are kept over that direction. And so the, here is our gate as well. And so he's sort of thinking, oh, let's go home to them. So there's a little bit of that in it too. Okay, here he went to fall in again. It's partly because my cameraman's there and I think he's a little frightened. And every time that that happens, he's able to chuck his head up. So we now are going to ask him to just leg yield back to the track. Now, of course, bear in mind, He's only just learning this. And so we have to be a little patient with him. Good boy, good boy. And there we have him around our inside leg again. So I'm only going to attempt to do an upward transition when he is truly around my inside leg because that's the best chance I've got to being able to keep him round. Now, I don't care if he goes a bit behind the bit because that's a little bit of a lack of strength at the moment because he isn't strong yet. Like I said, he's got to learn to push from behind to be able to become a dressage horse. So now we're going to make an upward transition and trot. Now you see the resistance here. Again, he falls against my inside leg. Trot. 
good boy. And so he's just not used to having to stay around, stay around the leg and make a transition. Good boy. Again, falling heaps against inside leg. And you'll notice every time that that's happening, of course, he's going to be up and down and inconsistent in his contact. Now it's really strange because he's actually a very forward moving horse. And when he is around the leg, he travels really active. Whereas it's only when he's against my inside leg that he starts to not want to go and answer the transition. So again, what does that tell us? It tells us that the horse, in order for him to be able to do proper dressage, has to go correctly. Otherwise he cannot be effective and go forward. Okay, so here, that's reasonably nice. We'll come back to walk and we'll ride a few transitions now to see if we can keep him around the leg through those transitions and get him starting to listen a little quicker. Now, it's not ideal to do it here where the cameraman is, because like I said, he's a little bit frightened of that. The cameraman's above us. And I find standard breads are very, um, very aware of different people. They're not the most confident horses, and that's due to their past history. Now, you notice there, I asked him to trot. He came against the inside leg, and then we got a little jump. Again, a real standard bread thing, but only because we haven't got the inside hind leg underneath him. So here, I'm going to ask him again to get that inside hind leg there, and only then go on again. Because he has to now work out a different way of traveling to what he has done in the past. Now we've got to bear in mind as well with these guys that they have been in a jig and often those beams don't allow them to bend. And so that doesn't help their cause either for what we are trying to do. Good boy. I have to walk again. And even then when I go downward transition, same thing, you'll try and fall in a little bit. And I've got to correct that with inside leg. I'm just going to now change direction. Because obviously we have to work in both ways. Good boy. And the same thing. I'm waiting till I feel like I have an outside rein that there is some flexion and bend from my inside leg, and only then will I ask him to trot on. Now he's a little bit suspicious still looking over the fence at the drop off. And so this is where you can see it's all new to him. Okay, here he is, reasonably around my leg. And so we go again. Now it's going to take, of course, a little while for him to build up the strength to be able to be able to push off from the inside hind leg through an upward transition. And that's what we have to develop for him to be able to canter correctly. Good boy. That's a good boy. I just have to talk to him for a little minute because he's still getting his confidence with me. Good boy. And you can see when he is half reasonable, he's a lot more consistent. Good boy. That's the lad. Right, a couple more transitions coming up. Well, you knew what I was thinking, didn't you? Good boy. And trot. Oh, we'll do that again. Anytime I get that reaction, we're going to repeat the transition until, yes, we get that where the horse steps forward and round to the trot. Good boy. Because we have to teach him that that's the correct way to go. Anytime he does the incorrect transition where he does a little jump, we have to repeat it. So in a nutshell, 
This horse needs to learn to leg yield, and leg yield is the basis of all dressage because that's the only way we can achieve getting inside leg to outside rein. And this is the problem with most pony club riders and horses going around Australia that are not trained to leg yield enough and sufficiently. And the horse has to respect leg and then accept the fact that we can use leg. And then we will not get the resistance that we are getting at the moment. So the next few days, you can guess what this horse will be getting. Lots of leg yield training. And then we will show you an update soon of how much better he is once he is inside leg to outside rein. But already here I can feel he is starting to take a better contact. And the contact comes from the horse's hind legs pushing to the bridle. Okay, so we're going to wind it up here. As we can see, this horse is green. He needs to learn to go inside leg to outside rein. But when doing that, the horse will start to find his balance. He'll be able to then push off from the inside hind leg, create that power of driving as opposed to pulling. And in the end, we will get a dressage horse. So we hope to see you in the future as this horse will be a project that we're going to continue with and see how far up the levels we can get him. And so I'm sure you'll see plenty more of him. Okay, thank you very much. Till next time. Oh, he's very good. Yes, he he's very good.